Are you interested in achieving these goals or are you committed? If you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. You'll come up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't and you'll use your education as an excuse, you'll use your stories as an excuse, you'll use all of that as your reasons why you can't. But if you're committed, you will do whatever it takes. You'll let go of your stories, you'll let go of your excuses, you'll let go of all the reasons you currently have that are formulating your identity of yourself and you'll learn how to let that go and become who you are destined to become. Think strategic all the time. Before any action or any inaction, ask yourself this question. Is this action going to make me stronger or weaker? Will this action move me toward the strategic long-term goals I am trying to achieve in my life? And do not lie to yourself. You have to tell yourself the truth. And the truth is, you have time. You have the skill. You have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. You cannot get people to believe in your dream until you believe in it yourself. Nobody's going to put into your dream before you put in. You have to invest in what you dream for. Do you have anything that you're dreaming that you're willing to be committed to enough to see it happen? 90% of your energy, focus, time, and thought should be towards the solution, not towards the problem itself. This is a mistake most people make because they expend all the energy into the problem. And when you expand energy, it grows to survive. And the problem gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the solution becomes more and more difficult. The hardest part about change is not making the same choice as you did the day before. And the moment you decide to no longer think the same way, make the same choice, act the same way, create the same experience or live by the same emotion, it's going to feel uncomfortable. And the moment you feel uncomfortable, you just stepped into the river of change. Short-term thinking says the donut tastes good, eat it. Short-term thinking says one workout doesn't matter. I can see. Short-term thinking encourages you to make short-term emotional decisions that hurt you in the long run. Think strategic. Think long-term. Act strategic. Take action that improves your long-term position and moves you toward your long-term goals. You need to win battles in order to win the war. You need to get out of bed, you need to run, you need to work out, you need to read and study and practice, and you need to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. Get out of your damn bed, get off your phone, and you need to go out there into the world and get after it. People think of freedom as the ability to implement your whim. And Freedom opens up that as a possibility, but sustainable freedom, that isn't what it's about at all. It's about, it's primarily about responsibility. It's about determining which load you're going to pick up and carry. That's the proper definition of appropriate freedom. We have pain, we have suffering, we react, and we react about, get the f out of here. It's those people who are able to control that feeling of flight and say, no, I'm a f good. There's a way through this. It's, it's going to end. It's going to end, but we don't know that. We don't think that. At that time, it's going to last forever. So what keeps me going? I've quit several things. I know what's on the back end if I can quit. And it's a lifetime of thinking about why the f*** did I do that? And I ain't f***ing doing that no more. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If, if it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. Motivation is a feeling that comes and goes, and it doesn't matter whether it's there or not. Discipline is infinitely more important. So no matter how you feel, get up and do what you're supposed to do. That's it. And that's discipline. It's not motivation. If you only did what you were supposed to do when you were motivated to do it, that's leaving it to chance. But if you're disciplined, you go do what you're supposed to do. That's the way it works. If you want to be the best, you watch the best. You look at the best. You watch the and you have their lifestyle. Don't be like this, have their lifestyle, and it'll take you anywhere you want to go. That's the only way you ever get where you want to go. You have to take a path that's dangerous, and most people want to take the safe path. The safe path leaves you stuck in quiet desperation almost every time. It's hell. 
it's more important to, to own your weaknesses. You got to really triple down on those, man. Because why? You want to become a full human being. We like to run away from weaknesses. Like for instance, if you're good at running, all you want to do is run. If you're great at reading, you have several books. But we don't do those things that we're not good at. So for me, I realized, man, like I keep on running away from these things I'm not good at. I have to dive into these things. I have to become one with these things. So I, I, I own them both. It was a beautiful awakening. It's like when you're, when you're living in your parents' home, they, they are the enemy. You know, everything you don't do right is because of them. And then when you're on your own and you had to say, you start making mistakes that you made when you were at home, it's like you can't put it on mama now. Mama not with you no more. You can't put it on daddy and say, my father was too hard. They, I had a curfew. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't let me party past 12. Like I had all these excuses why I wasn't successful because of my parents. You finally have what you always wanted, control over your, over your life, and you're getting the same results. If you really want to change, you have to take personal responsibility. I think the company is where it is, and people follow me because they don't hear a bunch of excuses. They hear, yo, E, you coming at me hard, but it's the truth. Like, I know what I'm doing wrong, and I just need to make the adjustment. So I would say personal accountability and personal responsibility is what took me from being homeless and a high school dropout to the number one motivational speaker in the world. There ain't nothing you can do about what's gonna happen to you. You can't stop life from happening. You can do something about it. Life is 10% what happened to you. It's 90% what you do about it. You got to stop tripping every time something happened to you like it's the end of the world. It ain't. Just change your mindset. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude. I saw working out as a way for me to build calluses on my mind. I had to callous over the victim's mentality. I always equated training to mental toughening. Like, it always looked brutal. People waking up early and doing all these things. And look, it looked horrible. I was like, wow, man, I got to start doing that. Not to get better, bigger, and stronger, but that is what's going to build me. That looks uncomfortable. That looks brutal. And getting up early, I don't want to do that. So I made this long list of things I don't want to do. And through that, I found myself. So I started seeing myself very differently than the average human being. I was like, hold on a second. I have something they don't have. And that's when I started to develop these things through working out. It was this great, never-ending work ethic. And through work ethic, I developed self-esteem. I believe that everybody has a gift. Every single human out there listening right now, you have a gift. You cannot be great being a lesser version of what already exists. You can only be great when you execute against your own potential and do your own development. And that means getting up there and looking like a clown. And it means taking little bitty steps forward every single opportunity you get. Make your luck. You, you gotta make your luck. And if you make it, if you keep putting forth the maximal effort, that luck's gonna come, you're gonna make your luck happen. We lie to ourselves. We don't tell ourselves the way things really are. And when we do that, then we can't fix our problems. We have to be truthful to ourselves. We have to stop rationalizing, stop making excuses, stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth.